What's up, baby? Raptor here. How y'all doing? It's good to see you. It's Raptor versus Ranger in our continuation of Conquest. Oh, yeah, baby. So, Airland Battle's the name of the game. Conquest is also the name of this game as well. Of course, capturing all these uh, points and pushing the enemy on the, off the map, rather, is uh, what we're trying to do here. I have left my deck unchanged in hopes that, ra uh, uh, that Ranger would be able to beat Raptor. So, what we're going to do is uh, look over our deck real quick. It may have been a little bit since you've seen it. And uh, we have tanks, infantry, support, vehicles, helicopter, and air. And we also have some support, which I forgot that I had the P on in here. Hopefully I can use it this uh, round. By the way, it's faster bot and huge flanking maneuvers possible on this map. Uh, with uh, really only just VDV under our belt here. So what I do want to do is... Uh, I want to kind of think about this and look over this map and look at where we can attack and defend from. Now, center city is going to be key, and uh, we're going to have to keep... Now, here's the thing. If we hold the center city, we hold basically an area of this size. With the recon and the uh, ATGMs we could have and anti-aircraft missiles, we could hold that entire center of the map. So that means that he's going to have to flank. And I don't see too much flanking happening in this game anymore. And a lot of you have said, hey, Raptor... You should flank a lot more, man, flanking. Some maps don't allow it. And in fact, the Rat Pack a lot lately has been saying, man, we miss flanking maps. Yeah, there used to be wide open maps just like this where the battle would take place in the center. And of course, you could go around the side. There wouldn't be any reward for it monetary-wise, or I shouldn't say monetary, but point-wise. Um, there's not really any benefit to it. And of course, defending on the flanks probably wouldn't benefit unless you're looking to cut the enemy off. Anyway. I think I'm down to know what he's going to do. Of course, we probably have M1A1s uh, firing after us, and uh, that's not going to be good. We do have the Conkers, though, to cause a bad day for him. So what we're going to do is call out uh, MI24Ds to get VDV there ASAP. And uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to split these up a little bit. However, there is a bonus trick that you can do that I kind of that we should do is. If you start with your helicopters up in the trees, guess who starts off in the air? Yep, that's right, MI-24D's there. So what we're going to do is, I bet he's going to, we got only limited time here, so I'm going to talk as fast as possible. I want Conquerors to go to the left. I want uh, ATGMs to go to the center. Uh, he is probably going to bring um, some type of, uh, he's going to bring something uh, in the center, of course. So we need to bring up some troops, and uh, we're going to bring kind of uh, the best of the best. Under support, we have our peons, which would probably only be best for taking out um, stationary AA at this point. So we do want a lot of our own AA. We want beer uses. We are going to need some aircraft as well. We have a lot of extra points to spend, so that's just fine. Weak on the right flank, but of course uh, he's a little bit new, so we're going to you know get him sorted on things. So the UAZ here is going to go to Dimitri. The UAZ on the right is going to go to Elena, and we're going to send a UAZ with ATGMs to Anna. All right. Oh wait a minute. Oh, we lost our point. Derp. I always I seem to do that a lot. I don't know why. I always seem to, uh, again, of course, we're not, again, this is Conquest, so he's already, now he's got a point advantage, look at that, three, uh-oh, Raptor done goofed, so we'll hold that until we get the point advantage from him, we are going to have to push into the center eventually to get the higher point values, that's why I'm taking Ele Elena, Dimitri, and uh, Anna, and uh, hopefully we can push him at Jot, once we capture uh, Elena, guess who's going to Jot? So that's where we're going to try to push him. Uh, again, he will probably have tanks ready to go on that right side, and we'll bring out our, uh, our tanks and such on the right side. And AA to stop him. Speaking of stopping him, we're going to try to do it here right now. Robots coming up with Spetsnaz. We're now down from the hill. There, his, There's his aircraft ready to go. We're already firing on his. He's getting out of there. Would have been nice to call in uh, peons at this point. Yak-38s can come on out. Whoa, clever girl. Bringing out the uh, the uh, Hueys to uh, provide some type of rocket cover for his advancing troops. I'm going to call out the VDV here. Push them into the town. This is going to give us a point advantage uh, helicopter-wise. I shouldn't say point advantage, but an advantage against his advancing troops. Harriers are also coming in. Bucks will have to fire on those. And is he going to bomb the road? Oh, I don't think so. Not today. Yak 38s are going to be bombing, though. And we have our attack on the right side ready. So we're going to bring up our MI2. And we're also going to bring up some tanks to check. We're going to want to bring out a ton of AA as well. And we're going to need uh, some advancing uh, recon troops. We'll go back to the center and focus again. 
Beer use is pulled up way too close. Light rifleman. Very clever. We'll keep our uh, MI-24s close. He has a point advantage of one. Stopping us at Anna. Very good. I wonder how he did that. Oh, of course, because we didn't advance there. That's right. Very good. Well, we'll have to call out our command. We'll uh, push him eventually here. Beer uses are doing some good firing. AGSs are pushing up. That's going to be very bad against the Motor Streliki. Conquerors are also going to push out a little bit. And we'll go ahead and prepare over here again. Now, he probably has ATGMs ready to go. So we'll push up quickly with our uh, MTs. Bucks are out of ammunition. So we'll go ahead and pull back to Dimitri with those. It's getting very sloppy here. But that's quite all right. We've got a long battle to fight here. This uh, deck is meant for kind of more of a smaller uh, battle zone. So we'll see what happens here. All right, we've got an MT there with the uh, Marines. Got a Yak ready to go. We'll go ahead and dump him right on top. He'll finish those troops off, no problem. Co Cobras are coming in. And uh, so we'll uh, bring up some... The Beerius is... We'll probably take those out, no problem. At least a couple. In the meantime, we do have uh, a 65 ready to go, but we'll go ahead and spend it on an advance on the left side. And we'll begin our attack. Or the right side, rather, I should say. I get confused sometimes. Oh, there comes the zone ATGMs. Or AA. Very good. So we dumped it all over ourselves. We spilled. But there you go. Cobras are going to fly right over the city. That is a no-no. And we're advancing on the right side. Here comes our MI2. Here comes our Bucks. T-64As will push up. PVADs are also moving up. Don't know why. We'll get a couple of T-72s ready to block. Conkers are uh, getting ready to take out AGSs. Oh, actually the PVADs. Good defensive position for the PVADs. Marines will have a tough time moving against the Spetsnaz, rest assured. And we do not have a point advantage, but he does have one. Oh, and look at that command. That is a shame. We'll have that command, our own command push up there. We'll go ahead and split these bucks up. T-64s will go to the main road. And he's going to have to get out of town. Center could very well easily be his. In just a moment or two, we'll push up some uh, ATGMs to stop any advancing forces he comes up with. And we'll put some ATGMs up on the hill. We also need some troops over here. That's a, a big wound on our left. But he's pushing up in the center, so we'll let him fight it out, and I'm not going to retreat or anything. He desperately needs this command zone again. Oh, big bombs dropped on our motor streliki there. Probably losing big against uh, whatever was there. And we'll bring up the rest of our forces and also capture in just a moment. One point advantage for us. We'll get a few more points here as we advance on the right side. And he may actually try to land over there, so that's we're going to try to catch him. He'll uh, try to get a couple more points there, and uh, he will not be successful. Uh, we will go ahead and also lock down... Uh, these, you know, we do actually need that point advantage, so I'm going to actually go for the command instead. Oh, oh, what's this? Abrams? No, 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 no. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and spread out our T-64s. Bucks are ready to uh, cause some havoc here. And uh, Euro Recons will push up to the T-64s to provide uh, emotional support, I guess. We've also got uh, Sheridan's pushing in, so we'll have those T-64As take care of those instead. And uh, hopefully our MI-2. Sheridan, we'll just go ahead and have these troops walk then. Hopefully they can attract the fire of the Sheridan as the T-64s engage. Left side, I'd say we're pretty safe now. I'm going to call out some recon there, though. 
and we're also going to push our command to the uh, to the right side now. Hopefully he doesn't see that coming in. T-72s are in a nice position. We'll put those in cover. Elena is completely secure there. We'll let him know we've got ATGMs, but he's not going to get far with them. Sheridans don't stand a chance. Shaken T-64A. Sheridan going to explode. Self-destruct mode initiated. There it goes. All right, so um, more trouble happening in the center. And we'll bring up some uh, beer uses to make sure we don't get uh, any choppers against us. Bucks are also ready to go in the rear. So we'll push those up again. That uh, UH-1 desperately wants in. I don't think he can see those motor strelicky there. Go ahead and split these groups up quickly and push off two recon groups to opposite sides. Go ahead and have a group move there. Looks like the uh, oop, Strike Eagle's coming in. That's going to be bad news for the Strike Eagle. Did he kill our UAZ? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, he went for the uh, T-64s. So we'll call out recon groups to either side. Motor Strelicky group will probably push up to be out in the open towards the north. Good ambush point. Uh, we now have one point advantage again as he captures Fedor. He may actually try to capture Gregory, but now that we hold Jot, that's pretty good for us. Nice flank there. He's going to have to put some pressure there in order to uh, cut us off. And uh, we'll uh, move some uh, troops into um, around Dimitri now to stop any ATGMs from getting in there. We'll also call up an MI2 to keep an eye on the uh, center area. Got our MI2s all over the map. That's really good for watching those wide flanks and also keeping an eye on any type of uh, any type of moving infantry that may get past where a regular recon is only able to stay stationary. Block the main road of uh, going both directions. We'll send out cheap recons, which are the Urals. If they explode, you know the enemy's there. So, um, and we'll keep these Urals back. Oh, there goes the command. Oh, there. It, hold on a second. Where'd you go, pretty lady? Is that our command there? That is, uh, that is the command. So there goes the Conquerors, causing a very bad fur day self-destruct mode initiated. And there you go. So we're buying some time here on his inevitable capture of Gregory. This does give us, however, a point advantage that would allow us to turn over the battle in a few moments. I'm probably going to have to come in from the left flank now with a large group of infantry. Uh, we don't have the AA really to deal with anything, so we're going to bring up a couple of peons to snipe commands. And we'll also bring up some regular infantry recon to uh, move down there as the time comes, so that way we can see what's around there. UH-1E is getting a little cranky on us. Is it unloading troops or what? Hopefully not. It's probably going to be 50 million U.S. Marines in there. Damn, Conquerors are causing it just a bad fur day here. Okay, Motor Strelicky are blocking. Other Motor Strelicky are moving into do a, a defensive position at the north. Actually, might even be able to push into Ivan. Let's go ahead and do that. Might be a command right there. Let's go ahead and check. All right, we'll go ahead and push our recon up there as well. Be a little bit more aggressive. Malatuka's ready to block at Gregory. Uh, just got to move them in a little bit. T-72's in a nice blocking position, which means if the enemy comes up either road on that left side or the right side, T-72's are going to block them. MI-2's in a good uh, position as well to kind of keep an eye on the battlefield if Gregory gets captured. He really needs to push. He really needs to just do a quick bombing run with an aircraft and then push in with a uh, command as well as multiple units of infantry and the left side attack would be good as well. Nighthawk's up and Nighthawk's going to be down in a second if he gets low. Nope, he's not. Oh, nice stun on the T-64s but they're inevitable to uh, bombing I guess. So we'll go ahead and back our T-64s up to over. Oh, 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 oh. Hueys are going to spot us. We'll push up a buck. Ural trucks are going to have a bad day. Looks like we've got an LAV scout up there as well. Going to bring up some more beer uses to uh, kind of cut down on any aircraft that think they're out in the open. Hueys are going to close in. Ooh, he's keeping keeping a good range this time, but this one's not. No, uh, no, looks like they're going to chew up the uh, motor strela okay, So that ambitious uh, push was a little too ambitious, a little too late, but that's fine. Good defenses with Buck still in the rear. We'll push uh, armored vehicles up there into the center. Gregory's locked. MI2 will go ahead and scout up on the left then to make sure we're not uh, causing or waiting for any type of attack there. Ural trucks here. I want this uh, Red Zilka to get up close without being seen. So we're going to drop them out right there. And by the way, they can run very fast. So, Alright, we're now at 100 out of 400 points. Fourth of the way there. 
17 minutes left out of that 30, baby. And Ranger's doing a pretty good job of at least dealing with the problems immediately as they arise. Uh, at least in the center, he immediately brought out the pr appropriate units, but really didn't expect a, a flank attack, which uh, is, can be anybody's downfall, really. And, uh, you know, no harm, no fall sometimes when it comes to uh, being flanked, because that's exactly what a flank is supposed to do. It's supposed to surprise you. Two helicopters down there with infantry. And another Huey down. Huey loose and the news have crashed, ladies and gentlemen. Strike Eagle's on the way. Probably going to try to attack our buck, which means the buck... Ooh, very close. Oh, I thought both bucks would be able to fire there. But a uh, good hit on that... Uh, may a possible hit on that Strike Eagle, which means that uh, he's going to take a little bit of time to repair. And, of course, that's why I brought up the Buryusa. Light Rifleman's strewn all about now. Great uh, position for the Motor Streliki to be in, and Reds Vec Baptikas there. All right, we'll bring up Motor Streliki again. The final final four we've got something on the left side. Did you see that on the mini map? A Huey, possible um, possible flanking maneuver. So we'll go ahead and bring up a couple more Mi-24s. That'll give us good mobility around this area for tanks, and also help us to hold the city. On the right side, light riflemen out in the middle of nowhere aren't too much to concern about. To be concerned about, light riflemen ATGM is now out of orbit. It is going to Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen, Pluto, and it has left the atmosphere. Very good. All right, well, atmosphere, I mean the universe. The universe is universe. Chaparrales, there we go, baby. P on targets. Do you remember where those were? I forgot. I'm going to go ahead and uh, control one those so we can uh, quickly switch between those like that. And, of course, to give multiple firing uh, uh, orders, all you have to do is hold uh, shift while you give orders. Plus two now, 129 gonna have to do something desperate here. Abrams coming up on the right. Oh, like we didn't see that coming, huh? Beerusas are in a bad position. Nah, yeah, never mind. Not so bad now. We don't have any ATGMs on the left side, or the right side, rather. On the left side, Hueys in the center. No chaparrales to be seen again. Go ahead and move up. Actually, let's go ahead and split these, and I'll go ahead and move one group into position. Very good. All right, so we've got the Abrams coming in to deal with us. We've got uh, T-64As. That'll go ahead and just switch position. Um, let's see. We'll actually... Let's do this. We've got the Kiwa coming up. So he's dead uh, because of the beer uses there. He's going to go ahead and go for the commands instead, I guess. Or the uh, transport choppers. Or the uh, choppers are going to go for the transport trucks. My apologies. So that looks like he finished off our Res X guys or whatever. You guys know how to say him. Now what I want to do is lure him into a nice attack. So let's bring out a couple of aircraft. Just to mess with him. And oh, there comes the Nighthawk. And there goes the Nighthawk. As it's far too close. Too, a little too ambitious. Oh. Oh, beer uses are dead. Alright, so we'll bring in a couple more of those. Now we're going to double down on him. Because now he's going to try for aircraft. Since he's clearing defenses, we want him to think it's more open. Oop. Did two Abrams just explode? That can't be. Wow. Two Abrams killed at the same time. That's incredible. Wait a minute. They're still moving. All right. Light Rifleman. Uh, oh, there goes the Strike Eagle. Oh, and the, and the trap worked. Very good. Uh, MiG-21s are ready to go again. And now, since we were successful, we'll go ahead and just drop them right on the Light Rifleman, and the other one can retreat. RTB, Motor Streliki, you're almost in range. There goes the bombs. Broken arrow, baby. Oh, I <laughs> forgot they were cluster. Regardless, uh, oh, Hemets are coming up, so we can get some nice resupply off that. Oh, we have a command vehicle moving in, so here we go. Oh, Conquerors are going to cause a bad fur day. Self-destruct mode, uh, Captain Picard, Alpha Bravo 974. Okay, good. Thank you, computer. All right, so let's move on over back to the light riflemen who are retreating back to the Hemet. It's going to get really... Uh, really hairy now for me because I feel like he's got one more trick up his sleeve. He's not done yet. He's not done. He's got something going. I don't know where it is. There's got to be something around here. Could possibly attack my UAZ in the rear. We've got our helicopter ready to go to transport just in case. Oh, wait a minute. There, that That's finally coming alive. So let's go ahead and unload. Hueys with Marines are in. It's not the uh, twin Huey. Army, it says on it. Should say Marines, don't you think? Okay, we've got our UAZ. Look at that. Nice, thick defenses here. Really a 
a tough nut to crack, and he's probably going to use his Nighthawk a few more times to try to get through. We're down to two bucks. We've got our beer uses ready. Back in our old position. These ones should probably park, unless he has recon on them. Really bad AI there. Here comes the Huey. So we're going to bring up our 24 to deal. Got our motor strategy there as well. Going to go ahead and bring our VDV over to the UAZ. She's going to get stopped by that uh, motor strategy there. It's going to try to land possibly this area, or at least to try to enter that area with his troops. Ah, PVADs and the scouts are coming up next. T-64s are ready to roll. Go ahead and bring, it up, bring them up on the left, and we'll try to make them go through the forest on the right to slow them down a little bit, so that order will reach at the right time. MI-24D is on loading. Oh, it looks like the infantry. Oh, I did not expect that. Hold on, we'll pull, pull back just a bit. French base program, old famous European escalation joke. World famous. And light riflemen are finished. Nice ATGM on them. Really only a nice thing when you're in a city and you always call you you're just that half a meter, half an inch away from firing at the enemy with your uh, your just basic shoulder launched and you wish to yourself, damn it, I wish I had an ATGM. That's the cross between a nice budget and not really being able to afford anything more and that's that's what light riflemen are a, a wide defensive unit not so much offensive marines are very offensive oh yes they are trust me ah, that's a joke you see what i did we'll keep the peon moving then just in case he has some eyes on it or something and uh, we'll move our recon up a little oh here comes the ua oh, wow okay so we're gonna go ahead and anticipate where the landing will be I'm gonna go ahead and say right there correct that just a little bit Pe uh, peons are ready to fight oh they're already starting to fire as they uh, are just parking uh, go ahead and fire, boys, anytime you're ready. And there goes the shell. Let's see if we can uh, make some contact over here with the UH-1A. And might have fired just a half second too early. Damn. <laughs> Raptor, you're so good. We stunned it, though. Star-studded performance from those uh, peons. And that's exactly what I would have done, Ranger. That is exactly why I fired where I fired when I fired. We'll give him another volley and just show him that... Uh, that uh, Raptor ain't nothing to mess with, and uh, of course I appreciate him playing against me. You guys may think I'm preying on a noob, but after these battles we kind of do assess things and go over them, and uh, he's very uh, he's very attentive, and uh, you know he, he watches the replays, which I would recommend you to do as well if you're wondering uh, what you need to do to be better. It's always watching the replays afterwards, that's what the Rat Pack does. I don't always do it sometimes because I, you know, of course, can watch my own replay uh, as it happens. There you go, exploded helicopter. So we maintain that one point advantage. We're more than halfway there with uh, one point over him. I would like to bring in a command now to Gregory, so let's do that. And uh, we'll sneak one up there and then pull, into, pull in from Elena. He's now going to put both, most of his forces on that right side. So I think what we'll do is we'll call out a couple of more T-64As just so that way if, if, if they get cracked, then uh, we have some reinforcements ready. I do want to finish off the Avengers, which are... R I thought they were going to retreat there. Man, this this map is uh, really familiar, doesn't it? I'm thinking to all the European escalation uh, days and just thinking about how tanks were just beasts and uh, AA was scary as hell and choppers were too. And now with the uh, invention of aircraft by the French uh, developers known as Focus Inter... Uh, Inter oh, no. T-64A self-destructed. He just learned that... Uh, he just learned that Breaking Bad ended, and he was like, yet. Oh, here we go. Here's the big attack here. Raven, nice. Ooh, two bucks destroyed with that one. Good job. Those were the two bucks that we had defending the center, so that's very good for, for him, at least. Um, so we've got our AGSs here. Not our AGSs, but our friends here. We're going to give it one more fire, and then we're out. Weapons jammed on those AGSs, so it's going to be one volley. Oh, both of them are dead. Okay, so we'll pull back into a defensive position. T-64A is out. We're going to go ahead and have him repair himself at that cargo truck there. We probably won't need any extra missiles, uh, so we'll leave our cargo truck. I don't like how this beer use is still not in cover, so we'll push him back into the center. Hopefully we can lure a Nighthawk out and get a nice kill there. Of course, uh, not playing for points by destroying vehicles, but again, earning points by whatever you see in these command zones. Elena, Dimitri, soon to be Gregory here. Let's move into there now. And of course... Uh, Luring an enemy aircraft out just to try to kill it and depriving the enemy of that, even if you're behind and you know, oh, I need 600 points, not 150. If you destroy the Nighthawk, or if you destroy the Raven, or if you destroy the uh, 
uh, I don't know, any type of helicopter that the enemy might have, like an Akula, knowing that they may only get one or two, is uh, ex extremely, uh, it's a good punishment for the enemy. It's uh, really frustrating for them to lose something that they've relied on. Our recon, I don't understand why our recon just didn't move an inch to the right and move back right into cover. But, I guess that's, uh, that's how it goes. We've now got LAV scouts that are moving up to be destroyed. He's just feeding the beast now. He, uh, needs to move on a different flank. He's tried multiple pushes here, and it's just not going to break. The uh, T-64s are too superior. What he needs here is Abrams, because they can definitely penetrate those T-64As, and with no ATGMs here, it would be a good push. But uh, I'm too close that I could provide immediate. As you can see, here's our call-out area, and it wouldn't be a long drive to get over to that to that tanks or to the tanks or whatever happens to be coming down that road marines finally working their way up holy crap wait a minute i did not expect that oh and he got my command very good wow we were not a, <laughs> i should have i should have listened to my own thoughts i was like now nah, i'll just stay back but i figured i'd take it just to kind of end things a little bit earlier but uh all right well now we're gonna have to punish the marines there'll be a ton of aa in the center which is fine because uh we, once we see that aa we will take it out with the peons get peons ready Ready to fire. Chaparrales are probably right here. Marines are moving up. I see on the right side mini-map. Uh, LAV scouts and Sheridans are up again. Sheridans will be destroyed. Uh, Marines are coming up again. Heavy artillery great against Marines, but so is fire. Yakety yak, don't talk back, baby, is we're going to burn those Marines out of the woods. And uh, we've got four canister launches. And where's our ATG or our AA coming from? There you go. Yak-38 destroyed, as I thought. Also a nice uh, defensive position for infantry, also taken out. We'll try again on the uh, on the command advance. We've got plenty of commands, so no problem there. Ravens are coming in, so we're going to go ahead and uh, stop them from scooting on in. So we'll take out the, we'll lock down the uh, bear uses and the bucks. Seventy percent of the points are owned by us. We're uh, seventy percent, I guess. Ural trucks have finished off supplying uh, those that one T sixty four that was heavily damaged. We'll pull back to the uh, to the fob i wonder exactly what does a fob say does it say anything when you click on it no it does not interesting all right so you've got the marines on fire just stepping out of the fire now any marines hello oh my god there they are wow they're uh, highlighted blue due to the fact that they're in cover. Tree, tree falling over. They're very cool. Uh, Marines are advancing. What do they have? Exa Hold on. Uh, that was a weird glitch. W one of those troops has something on his sh sh on his back. It actually. The hell is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm trying to give you guys a close up of what uh, what that one soldier has over his shoulder. Looks like he's got a golf club sticking out of his right ear. Interesting. All right, uh, so the Marines are pushing up to try to deal with the Reds. Vec, uh, wait a minute, hold on. Viriusa will probably take out the uh, remaining Marines there. Go ahead and have our P on fire two more times. Actually, we'll make it three. Three volleys there. Toe, Humvee Toe has been brought up now. Extreme accuracy on that, but a little too close. It would have been uh, a little better in European escalation. Oh, here comes the command. Hold on a second. Right there, she goes. We'll try to minimize losses as well here, as uh, we don't really need to push infantry up, but we'll uh, or or anything really. We can play defensively here and uh, and probably make it, but I'm gonna refrain from doing so. We have Mi 24 Ds that can show up those Hueys though, and uh, of course early detection is very key in this game. He's now locked it down. Bringing the even points up. Self-destruct mode initiated on the uh, M151. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. He's like parked in the wreckage of the Huey. All right, so uh, our uh, 203 is getting ready to fire. Uh, let's go ahead and get a nice zoom in on. A lot of these units don't get the dues they deserve. Hold on, aircraft moving. The shell's coming in. I do see an aircraft. Let's quickly see what it is. Raven uh, getting a buck kill. That was, a, that was quite a distance. CP is... Uh, getting hit there we'll fire a couple more times on that we'll uh, bring out a nice fighter now to bring down the uh, bring down the raven he'll uh, pull out his meat immediately after seeing those and what we'll do now is we'll turn these beer use back on so he can stun those and uh, there we go there's one Winchester there we go bucks away ooh very close 
And we'll let our MiG-23s go on patrol, then we'll deny for a little while. 203s are getting ready to fire again. This should uh, initiate self-destruct mode here. Here comes the shells. This is very nice. This is that standoff kind of gameplay we used to get in European Escalation, which I've been missing. And by the way, some European Escalation videos will be coming up soon, so please give those some lo love as well. I know some of you are huge fans of Airland Battle, but you know what? That's the granddaddy that started this whole train of awesome. And, of course, that you got to give some mad love to that. And, uh, you know, there's nothing. Oh, here comes the Abrams. Nothing like a mad classic. So we do have, what are these, cluster? Oh, wait. Oh, they are. Okay. Abrams there. Let's see what's going to happen. Two minutes left. T-64As are on the line. We're going to go ahead and take them out. Power forward, comrades, and destroy. Got a nice line of sight on them. See, you cannot see us without recon, so they... Ooh, both of them got hit. I think those were side shots on both of those. Not easy to confirm whether or not it was a kill. CP is still alive. I cannot believe that. Reloading on that uh, on those uh, commands there. Or on the uh, <laughs> the uh, anti-command guns. Cluster bombs are away. PVAD's firing. Cluster bombs way off. Way off indeed. PVADs are there. Uh, T-64A's ready to hit him in the side. Let's do it. Go ahead and retreat then. Let him think uh, he's won there. Transaxle hit on that. Shaken and panicked. That's good for us. T-64s will move in then to finish. And uh, I don't want to engage because I want him to yeah, move up so that way we can hit him right in the side. Abrams are noticing us now and engaging but not turning. There'll be a direct hit here in a second. Ooh, that was very close. T-64s are still advancing. Bad stabilizer on them. We'll go ahead and get them to stop and engage. Give them that little bit more accuracy, which counted there. Now we're facing the front of the Abrams. Abrams firing back, panicking one T-64. Another shell coming in on one of those Abrams. All right, we're going to go ahead and have our executive artillery get... Uh, actually, let's keep an eye on... Oh, artillery exploded. Ore is flying off. And uh, back to the uh, Abrams we go. Just out of range. I'm going to go ahead and bring in uh, another bomber here. Let's go ahead and hit him. Don't need the motor street like he selected. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. M1 Abrams self-destructed at the site of my mighty infantry. And we've got one Abrams left with one little tick of health. We can go ahead and call off the MiG as self-destruct mode is initiated. All right. So, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second, pretty lady. We've got to call out something to do a little work here. Now that I didn't see any AA, oh, too bad, too bad. It's too bad. We've only got three seconds left to go. So, anyway, we didn't get to push them all the way out, but uh, Gregory would have, ah, it was fun to play around with that CP there. So, anyway, friends and fans, it was good to see you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Support that Rat Pack, baby, and give Ranger some tips down below. He did really well, but, of course, I have a ton of experience, and he just needs a little bit more. And that's why you need to be better at this game. Watch your replays, and uh, watch what your enemies do, especially if they defeat you. Sometimes it's uh, hard to know exactly how you lost if you're playing your best, but that's how it is. So, until next time, friends and fans, this is Raptor for Ranger Dobby reminding you to keep the password and pimp hand strong, and we'll see you next time, baby. Bye.